We have spent a lot of effort to ensure that our uh, cybersecurity curriculum is up to date, applicable, and pertinent to what's going on in the world. The battlefield of the future is cyberspace, and it's here. Okay, so today I'm going to demonstrate ARP spoofing to achieve data exfiltration on a wired local area network. This type of insider attack is known as a manual attack. So for the premise, I'm basically a disgruntled employee with high access to this equipment. And they, the company has done something that you know I'm very upset towards. So because I have this access, I'm going to do something about it. And I'm going to really mess up a couple of people's days. So for that, I have a tool called, there's a tool called Edercap, which will actually allow me to perform the, the ARP spoofing attack, essentially be able to redirect conversations of individual hosts to us so we can, so we can steal the credentials. There's also another tool that I am running called Wireshark, which we will use to analyze the traffic we have something that's called a span port on the switch. is basically it's called a, it's basically acronym for switch port analyzer, and all that is is, that we ba is it takes all the ports that we assign to it. In this case, it's one through fourteen, and then everything that's coming to or from the port is going right right out this port, so f so that for Wireshark we can read everybody else's traffic, and this is how I will be able to know that these clients or trying to connect to the server, and that's how I will know to initiate the attack. We've already started the ARP spoofing, brought up Wireshark so we can, and uh, the only thing worth noting is that we're going to capture user credentials. This is just a simple filter, so we can filter out a lot of the other stuff that'll come through the, through the span. As you can see here, that by now, for the FTP server and for these clients here, they should associate these two IP addresses or the IP address to the FTP server with our MAC address, allowing whatever they have to send to one another will come through us before reaching the destination. So if we look at the ARP table, as you can see, there's already that it's already worked partly. Arc table here. Yep, we can see that it's already working. It now believes that where the FTP server is located is located at our man in the middle host machine. So just logging in. Yep, here it is right here. So as you can see, through editor cap, redirecting redirecting communications to us first, we were able through Wireshark to capture their user credentials. So while, so while they get to log on to the FTP server to do whatever they want, we have fresh user credentials to do whatever we want with.